Wait, ladies are here telling me I had to pay a lot of money for five star food. I thought I just gotta pay uh a pickle. <laughs> Rapers, what's this good? It's your boy Laser. He's the visor back with another reaction video. He's on the reaction content. Stay tuned to look it up for you guys. Infecting a one dollar versus two hundred and fifty million private island. Guys, Mr. Beast be making crazy ass videos, bro. Like, it's crazy how he used to just count numbers at one point. If you use your reaction content, where you actually use this feature, simply hit the like button. You subscribe, you took a vacation, but like, immersion movie now. Trisco streams are fucking amazing. Let's dive straight into this veil. $115 million private island. Literally, uh, anything you could ever want is on this private island. How does he casually just get this shit? Like, is he running this whole thing? Island. And I'm gonna show you the difference between this and a 150 Ain't no way that was actually the island, bro. Million dollar luxury island. <laughs> a massive 45 million dollar island. A 5 million dollar frozen island. What all the, the way fuck? down to the world's cheapest private island. Damn! I'm starting to realize we might not all fit on it. <laughs> First step on my brand new island. Here's your dollar. Thank you, sir. Thank you for selling it to me. It's yours now, buddy. Let's check out what I just bought. My first impression is it's a lot smaller than I thought. When you pay a dollar, you get a random pile of bricks, an old toilet. I found the restroom. And a bunch of random wooden poles. There's more poles than square feet on this thing. They're actually called pylons. Let's pile onto that boat and leave. And as you can see, there's nothing here. So I'm gonna blow it up. Oh! But later in this video, we're going to a $150 million island and also a quarter billion dollar super island. But first, we're gonna head over to the one million dollar island called Monkey Island. Ooh! Yes, you heard me right. This island is literally swarmed with hundreds of monkeys. Monkey, go jump on the bed! I can see why it's called Monkey Island. What's this monkey? It's Odie. Oh, oh, Odie took my orange. Okay. Monkey seafood, monkey take. All monkey the monkeys on the this bed. island oh, energy oh. for interacting with people. They gaslight you into thinking that you're friends, and then they steal your food. You can have it, you can have it. I love this monkey. There's a monkey on the boat. And if you're- Was that monkey playing with himself? Wondering where you and your friends are gonna sleep on this island, suspended above the water are six luxury cabanas, which house both humans and monkeys. The monkey's grabbing the GoPro, Jimmy. Oh, uh, we yeah, need monkey. this for filming. I just need to borrow this. Uh... Monkeys are so cute, bro, when they're not like ripping your face off. But these are like the friendly ones, bro. Like the small ones. I've always wanted those kind of monkeys, bro. Like the ones that like are small and just like be climbing on your back and shit. You know what I mean? Thank you. Okay. Like these are the kind of monkeys I've always wanted, bro. I got my camera back. You want? Oh! Oh! Yes. He wants your hat. Okay, you you can have that, sir. By the end of this, I'm gonna be naked. Like these are the friendly ones, bro. Like people that like be, people actually just casually be having these as pets. Some people have chippy as these as pets. I'm not saying there's anything bad with that, but totally rip your face off. Kid, the monkeys are stealing everything. <laughs> the and up. the monkeys are not even the coolest part of this island. See, this island isn't even an island at all. It's actually on top of a massive underwater plant network that emerged from the sand and water to create this illusion of an island that we see today. Is this a million dollar island or a million dollar bush because there's no land? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I think an island is what you make of it. <laughs> and on the other side of the island, there's even a private relaxation area and a beachfront massage parlor. Nolan, I'm trying not to fall in the water. I'm about to get a massage with a monkey. This looks so damn fun, bro. <laughs> That's really cool. I've never been canoeing in my life. Like, I want to canoe so bad, but it's like if I do it, it's going to be in like a lake like this. Or I don't know if this is connected to the ocean. I don't know. Or like a creek or whatever. I'm never doing it in a fucking like ocean, bro. I think canoeing in the ocean is stupid as fuck, bro. You just can have a whale that just casually wants to tip you over, like, whenever. Like, it's crazy to think some sea creature could just tip you over whenever they want. Notice how all the water around here is freezing. What? Whoa! That took a lot of effort. And we put that much effort in to convey that the $5 million island is very cold. And where we're going next, most of the year looks like this. But it's going to look like this. No joke, this island is so cold right now that the lake around it is actually frozen solid. Which means to get there, we're going to be using an interesting vehicle. We're literally hovering. Yeah, apparently snowmobiles are just too basic for this island. It just had to be hovercrafts. Awesome. Talk about arriving in fashion. And it only took about 30 seconds of being outside the hovercraft for the gang to be frozen solid. How cold is it? It's zero degrees Celsius. Are they sipping grape juice? What is that? It's pretty cold, man. He's more like a 70 guy. 
<laughs> and so they hurried over to these futuristic self-heated huts to stay warm. Oh, this is so small. Wait, there's no room for you in here. Uh, we're gonna have to cuddle them. And these huts are able to stay here completely year-round. Because not only can they float on warm, peaceful lake water, but they also do just fine in the dead of winter. But at least in the winter, you get a great view of the northern lights. For five million dollars, you basically get a winter wonderland. And while staying on this island, you're given unlimited five-star food. Damn, bro. I swear to you, five star food's great until you realize how much it like costs because it's five stars. Wait, let me just see. You're telling me I had to pay a lot of money for five star food? I thought I just got to pay uh, a pickle. I think he thinks we speak Finnish. <laughs> <laughs> and even though this island comes with a luxury cabin to stay in. Oh, this is beautiful. This is Fine, I'll take it. Jimmy, buy it for me. The gang ended up spending most of their time on the frozen lake, where they were able to ride an actual dog sled. Oh, you took your glove. <laughs> oh my God. This is the best island. I don't know how any island's gonna beat this. Maybe one where I could feel my hands. And Carl's hands are in luck because the next island is not only warm, but more expensive than all of the other islands combined. This island is tiny, but arguably one of the most luxurious ones out there. Okay, let's go check out the house. Wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> We're stoked Whoa. to have you as our guest. We hope you have a blast. Just don't break anything. Yo, we should try to break one thing. Yeah. Uh, first, go to your room and break your pee-pee. Nah, actually, bro, like, on some real shit, dude. Damn, I'm jealous of shit, bro. Like, dude, when I... I swear, dude, my feature, bro, I can't wait to do shit like this, man. Like, at the time of recording this, I'm still, like... Doing normal boring shit. I can't wait to do shit like this, man. <laughs> Ooh, nice bathroom. Oh, yeah. Usually rich people like showers that can fit. Like this is the best thing about being rich, bro. Like it's not even like the the like the flex and shit. It's just, like just the shit you get to do. Like you can literally just fucking like do whatever you want, bro. Like I keep forgetting that you can literally just do whatever you want. Like not literally like break the law, uh, but like you can literally just travel and shit, bro. It's like living life like an actual dream, basically. That's why. That's why it's like, bro, chase your dreams, man. So you can do shit like this. You know what I mean? Like thirty to a thousand people in them. This time they chose a reasonable shower. <laughs> when you pay sixteen million dollars, in addition to a shower that's the size of the one dollar island, the private island comes with this helicopter that's apparently too big for the island. We have jet skis. We have a submarine. Another submarine to the right. We have a shark submarine over there. There's almost a submarine for each of us. Boys, do whatever you want. Have fun. Yeah, yeah. To get off of this thing. Dude, I've been on fucking, uh, I've done an air tubing before. The one thing I hate about air tubing, see, look, I, these are the ones I like. I like the ones where you, like, lay on your back. I think the ones where you lay straight on your stomach suck dick, bro. Suck ass. I've done that, bro. It sucks. But then there's some spinning ones, and I see, like, do, people doing those, like, flying ones, bro. I, I, they, I think they banned those. The flying ones are stupid. Like, I think that one's just straight suicide, bro. That can go wrong so many ways. I mean, it does look fun as shit, though. Intertubing in general is fun. Anyone that's done it knows how fun that shit is, bro. It's so goddamn fun until you fall and, like, it feels like you're about to break your spine, dude. Holy shit. Whoa, we're under a island! I am a fish now! And after Ludwig and Carl kissed the sea at 500 miles per hour... So they're in the ocean. We went back to shore to take a little breather. Yeah, Ludwig's gonna jump out of a helicopter. He what? really is. No, wait, I'm not, wait, what? Any last words? I won't be long, I'm sorry. This helicopter is taking the boys up. Fuck. Dude, helicopters scare me, I'm telling you, bro. Helicopters scare me, bro. Up into the air and letting them jump and freeze Bye, fall into the ocean. Oh my God. Oh, no, they this crazy. is crazy. We shouldn't be doing this. This is only a $16 million island and we're jumping out of helicopters. So where he does that, like, bro, I'm pretty sure where, like, you jump at such a high, like, well, I don't think they're that high, but it's like, damn, like, I know when you jump too high, like, King Wars, like, it's equipped, it's equipped with the hang concrete, bro. Your body goes, yeesh, blah. He's about to jump. Oh, my God. Damn. Wait, they jump! Yeah, that's how, it's, that's how it's supposed to, like, work when you land, though. You want to land, like, feet down. I remember watching a video on how, like, um... How to survive... I know you guys have all seen that joke video. It, technically, it's some good advice to it. Like, it could actually save your life. You know, that we've all seen that video of the how to survive uh, without, like, if your parachute doesn't come out. 
It literally says land feet first, and then the near is casually like, you'll be in shock, but don't worry, it won't only last. Like, bro, being in shock, I'm, I'm assuming, I've never been in shock. I'm assuming it's like you, you aren't even aware of what's going on, right? Is that what it is? I don't fucking know. There he goes! <laughs> Whoever said money doesn't buy happiness doesn't own that private island. Nah, he's not wrong. That's true. Like, money buys everything, bro. If I'm pretty happy. And now, the $45 million island. This island is so big, you can't even fit it all in frame. Oh, hey. Oh, I didn't even realize they were waiting on us. I always feel uncomfortable when I pull up to places and people are just standing, potentially for hours, waiting on me. <laughs> nah, that's facts, because, like, bro, when you're, like, wait, when someone's just weighing on you, you feel all the pressure to, like, zip your pants up, uh, you know, make sure your booty hole is wiped before uh, wiping it. Or, or just make sure it's clean. And uh, you got shit like this, bro. Like, people just weighing on me just does kind of scare me. <laughs> Holy shit. We have some blueberry smoothies here. Is it alcoholic? No, no it is not. He's not 21. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll take you guys up and we'll show you around Royal Island a little bit. Let's see what $45 million gets us. It's a long path. The Ooh. path is longer than the Lost Island. For $45 million, this island comes with a mansion and its own beachside bar and private chef. What? Can I give it a flip? Sure. That's not too bad. <laughs> and outside of the mansion is a hot tub overlooking the cove where the jet skis are. Dude, like, this is the shit that, this is why I'm so jealous of, like, to be Mr. Beast, bro. Because, like, Mr. Beast literally just casually gets to do shit like this, bro. One day, I'm going to do shit like this, bro. And I'm gonna like I'm, I'm gonna do what he does. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna I swear, bro. Like I want to do shit like Mr. Beast. Like I want to just take people and go different places, bro. You know what I mean? And of course, a pool with the best view I've ever seen. Does this look as cool on camera as it does in real life? And if for some reason you don't want to stay in the mansion, there's five luxury beachside cabanas you can pick from. Jimmy, uh, may I? You may. May I? You may. I have class. But even after messing around with all of the amenities... Why are we playing ping pong when we have an entire island? It's important to note that that's not what makes this island special. All the way on the other end of the island are century-old ruins that we are yet to explore. Oh, jungle! Oh, no. Alright, ready? Yeah! We're gonna go off-roading a little bit and head to the back of the island now. How does Carl always end up driving? Because I'm awesome. Oh, big bump! Ooh, Ow. Dude, this is like a safari. Yeah, you're going four times the speed limit. I mean, I don't know if there's cops that will stop you. It's but crazy how clear his fucking drone shots are, bro. Like, damn, Mr. Beast went from counting to doing this shit. I'm just letting you know. Is there a jail on this island? No jail. Oh, there's no jail? And when we finally damn, I can't drop the soap. Drive, uh -huh. we started to make our way through what used to be a village of people on this island over Wait, 100 years ago. This used to be a bar. Yep. Yeah, you want to walk under this 100-year-old giant 1,000-pound slab? Sure. Surely it won't fall on top of me. Dude, if today was the day that it fell, you couldn't even be mad. Nolan, come over here before you die. And just past these ruins is easily the best view on the entire island. Whoa. Ooh, yeah, it gets better. We were driving for so long, I forgot we were on an island. <laughs> the island starts over there, comes all the way around, wraps all the way around here, goes down that coastline, all the way up over there. I'll be honest, oh. I personally wouldn't pay $45 million for a big jungle with some ancient ruins, but I'm sure some rich guy will. This next island is arguably the second most expensive island that money can buy. This is the $150 million island. It comes with eight luxurious mega mansions. And the best part is, it's completely powered by solar panels and wind turbines. It's home to some of the most exotic animals I've ever seen, and took oh. over four decades to build. This island will literally blow your mind. When I think of a private island, this is what I think of. That's good, because this is a private island. All right. And apparently, the first thing you need to do here is wash your hands. Make sure you don't taint- Dude, I've never drank out of a fucking titty before. Or a coconut, my bad. Dude, like, what does coconut, like, actually taste like, bro? Like, I'm actually serious. The island with your outside world- I've had coconut, like, water before, or, like, coconut, you know, milk. But I'm, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm pretty sure, like, I don't even know. I, my dumbass used to think coconuts have milk in it, but it's, it's not milk. It's it's literally water. Germs. I've already washed my germs. Does everyone who come here get a coconut? I mean, they're not running low. <laughs> <laughs> True. I don't know if it's because this place is so fancy, or maybe they just heard about Carl's driving. But each of us ended up with our own personal driver. I have a feeling this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Unless you come back. I might be out of my price range. <laughs> And even though this island costs $150 million, you can actually rent it for yourself for the extremely low price of $140,000 per- Oh, extremely low price. Thanks, Mr. Beast, for 
showing us that, like, you get to just do this shit casually. Fuck! Damn it! Ugh. One day I'm gonna do shit like this, bro. One day we're all gonna do shit like this. Chase your dreams, man. Chase your dreams. I didn't even realize we just went up a mountain. <laughs> I've heard this is the most luxurious private island in the world. It is. The view is insane. This is the Great House. But before we were able to explore the Great House, my dumb friends got distracted by a turtle. Oh There's God. a turtle? Get in there! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, you guys- Does that fucker po Bro, why is he like- have the colors that aren't those like poisonous or that that just applies to frogs right i don't know usually whenever i see like an animal or a creature that has like colors on it i assume they're hella poisonous i don't know that's just the way the turtle looks i guess but like damn the snapping ones i the snapping ones you gotta watch out for bro they're not poisonous but they, they're damn let's go to the rest of the island they want to this island is so extra that for every one person in your party they have 10 staff members waiting on your every need there's a bunch of people over there like here's drinks here's food what do you want to do over the next two days and we're just like turtle yeah! oh! and of course nolan of all my friends wanted to take advantage of this yes, yeah! oh what's everyone up to over here oh we're playing pool what 10 people? They're my hype crew. Like, you don't have to hang out with them to they make it feel good. Be. I will be sad if you don't sit down and relax. Okay. If you need attention, don't make them stand there. It's only been an hour, but I'll say it. This is the best island so far. On top of all of that, the island has a house with a driving range on the roof where you can hit golf balls into the ocean because these are made of fish food. Ooh. I suck, bitch. You should probably hit it further so you don't hit someone. Look at all those flamingos. There's so much I can't process it. Bro, flamingos in the sky. They're everywhere. They don't love us unless we get- I've never casually seen a flamingo in my life, bro, surprisingly. Give them food. Come here, my brethren. But flamingos aren't the only exotic animals on this island. Whoa. Carl, what's a dinosaur? This is so cool. And believe it or not, this tortoise could live to be over 200 years old. Mr. Tortoise, my name is Jimmy. If my descendants, descendants, descendants come here. He looks like that, that turtle from uh, fucking um, Kung Fu Panda, bro. Was it Kung Fu Panda? Live in the present. Because that's what, I, I forgot the quote. But it, it was some wisdom, huge ass wisdom quote, bro. Like, damn, like, fucking deep as shit. Tell them I was awesome. And afterwards, we got sworn by a bunch of lemurs that live on this island. Get over here! Jimmy, I don't know if you noticed that there's two lemurs on your Yeah, I know. I'm trying not to move. I don't I'll put I food on there. Oh, please don't. <laughs> and if you're wondering where all of these exotic animals came from, most of them, sadly, are endangered species and are on this island because the owner, Richard Branson, brought all of them here to prevent them from going extinct. See, like, that's the thing, man. Like, crazy to think these people actually hunt down these fucking, like, animals, bro. Like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? But like, look at this cutie pie, bro. Look how smooth his forehead is. Okay, I love you. I love you. That's too hard. No, actually, he's really cute, though. Look how cute his fucking hands are, bro. Bro, like, exotic animals, bro. I've always wanted... Bro, owning an exotic animal. I see all these people owning exotic animals, bro. But it's like... um, I've always wanted to own, like, a fucking... I don't know. I kind of... Like, I've always wanted to own... I don't know, just an exotic animal diet. But the most endangered animals on this island were the mermaids that served us sushi. Ah, sushi? A boat of sushi? What the fuck? Ah! Sushi! This is luxury. I love, sh I, I love sushi, bro, but unless there's salmon in it. I love spicy tuna. I love California rolls. Um, I love shrimp. Any, sh any type of sushi I love, as long as there's no salmon in it. If it has salmon in it, I can't have it, bro. Because salmon, for some reason, salmon is the way you get tapeworms all the time. I know you can get it from other sushi, but salmon is, like, the number one factor when it comes to getting tapeworms. This is making me hella jealous, bro. Like, I just... It pisses me off that Mr. Beast casually just gets... I'm not jealous, Mr. Beast, but you get to do shit like this all the time. Fuck! Mermaids! Do you guys want sushi? I like to say no. Is that cannibalism? It's like a family reunion, get over here. There's honestly so much on this island, we can't even film it all. We played tennis, we played basketball, we explored yet another mansion. I did my first cold plunge, you get the idea. There's so much to do on this island, it's actually overwhelming. This one's actually pretty intense. I'm like actually scared. Of you wanna know what else is intense? What? The final island, I'll see you there. Why are we still here? And on the way to the $250 million island, we stopped in shark infested waters because I have to pay for this video. And now that I'm surrounded by sharks, 
and what feels like my worst nightmare. I'm gonna tell you guys about some of guys. Oh, they're so close. Oh my gosh. And the worst part is, I'm not coming out until I'm done with this ad. Some of guys is a free to play mobile player game where 32 people can. Some old guys, bro, this motherfucker's really doing a promo for that game. I remember playing that shit, dude. It's, it's like, it was actually easier than Fall Guys. That's serious. For the crown. You have to be an absolute maniac to do this. Not even some old guys could pay me to do this. Why are you all here, Well, I'm a maniac. I can do it. Oh. oh. Kinda, no. I cannot do it. And for their new season, they went all out with new missions. Fuck this shit, bro. Hell nah. This is death right here. For me, skins, animations, and emotes. Woo! Loki's coming right up. Bro, this is wild. I want to make sure there's enough sharks for Jimmy. They also added a brand new level. You have to follow a pattern as long as possible to stay alive. And the longer you live, the harder it gets. Oh. Like, bro, this is the thing I like about Mr. Beast, bro. Like, he does his ads so good. Like, he does it in a way where it actually makes the promos look, like, interesting to watch. You know what I mean? Most people, like, just do, like, they put, like, ads in a way where... It just makes you want to click off the video. This motherfucker literally promote, promotes his shit in like an interesting way. And speaking of promos, guys, uh, get this uh, squishy titty ball for five dollars off a uh, Craigslist. <laughs> totally not sponsored. The shark's hitting me. I think the sharks are hitting the cage. No, it's rocking. Oh, this is scary. I also just released my brand new toolkit, so you can build your own Mr. Beast level. This is one of their best seasons ever. You need to try my new Mr. Beast level, plus build your own, and I want to see what you guys come up with. Oh, the sharks keep hitting the cage, so I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you download Stumble Guys for free, so I don't have to go back to the shark cage. You're alive. Let's go do more things that have nothing to do with sharks. Please. And now that I've paid off the debt I've incurred from this video, let's visit the $215 million island. Oh! This is a $215 million private island. This extraordinary island has an entire amusement park with over a dozen water slides. It also has its own hot air balloon and just about every activity you could ever imagine. And we have it all to ourselves. There are no other guests here, but out of every feature you've seen on these islands so far, this one stands above the rest. In the middle of the island is a massive water slide. Even though literal eight-year-olds ride that water slide, I might still check it out because I'm afraid of heights. But before taking on the water slide- Fuck, dude. Fuck heights. Guys, I, I know I sound like a pussycat saying I'm scared of all these things, but I'm not actually scared of all these things. Like, they, they give me the chills, but like, I'll do all these things, obviously. The one thing I'll never do, though, is fucking, uh... Jumping off the cliff without a parachute. A lot of people do that shit. We checked out the other features, like how there's over a hundred jet skis on this island. It's a bit overkill. And not to mention, there's a literal zip line that spans across man-made beaches. What's the helmet for? What am I gonna hit? The ground, bro. Because sometimes people fall off. This is like really scary. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. No! Carl, you're kind of far behind. This is awesome. Um, this is actually not that crazy. And if you own this island, you can host over 13,000 of your friends at any of these five gargantuan Ooh. pools. Oh. oh. This kind of looks like it was made in Minecraft. And it's so funny just seeing my two friends in it. Nolan looks like a tiny speck. For $250 million, this island, of course, has exotic animals. Is that a peacock? Sir, I need to take you in for questioning. Sir? And even every game you can imagine. Dude, fuck bean toss, bro, or bean, uh, uh, coin, uh, 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 fucking bean toss, is that what, it, I forgot, corn toss, fuck corn toss, why is it called corn toss, is it, I don't even fucking know, do it, no, but corn toss, bro, the one thing I hate, bro, is like, when, see, look, the one thing I hate about corn toss, man, is when fuckers decide to, like, you're, you're playing someone, and some fucker decides to just, like, eat your shit, bro, like, go the fuck away, and let me, Beat this fucker, bro. Let me throw the corn into the pussy hole. For God fucking sake. Let me throw the corn into the fucking anal hole. <clears throat> I'm actually really good at corn toss, bro. When it's like this distance, some people play it like so far away. Like it's so stupid. You're supposed to do it at like a normal reasonable distance like this. I wish there was the 13,000 people that are normally here to watch how bad he is at Cornwall. Is that soccer pool? This island has things I didn't even know existed. But something I noticed is that there were way too many lifeguards at this island for just the four of us. How many lifeguards are on this island? Oh, uh, over 100. Really? With this many lifeguards, you would have to try to drown. So I thought it would be fun if we gave them all the day off. Has anyone ever rented this island before? 
Wow, this is a first. Dude, you are leaning back, You look way too relaxed. And after all the 100 lifeguards went down, they decided to hype up me and the boys for our turn to go down the slide. Oh! 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 Oh my God. Boys, you want to know what's even scarier than that? What? That one. Why is it so terrifying? Hey, it looks so scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can skip it. Towering at over 135 feet tall, this is the tallest water slide in all of North. Dude, I love water slides, bro. I'll take a water slide over a roller coaster any day, dude. Roller coasters, bro, like they just make you feel how it's sick, like. I don't, like, I'm gonna be for real, like, people are like, roller coasters are enjoyable because it's like the adrenaline shit, like the, you know, it, they're, they're, they're scary at first, then when you're on it, it's just fun as shit. But to me, like, I just get that motion sickness, bro, I can't explain it. Like, going down, like, a huge-ass wire slide like this, bro, a huge-ass wire slide, I love wire slides, man. I always thought wire slides were fun as hell. North America, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> it's like a skyscraper. But I'm scared. <laughs> Daredevil's Peak, what a soothing name. Very inviting. Oh, we're so high. Oh, it's kind of freaking me out. All right, we made it to the top. Are you guys just waiting for us up here? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to how intense the wind is up here. Oh, don't look down. Look how crazy the island looks. Oh my God. All right, Carl. You no. Oh, Nolan. Oh, <laughs> would you say nose goes is enforceable? Nose goes is enforceable. There we yeah. go. Hey. Yeah. You gotta go, Nolan. I love you, Mom. I'll see you on the other side. All right, go. <laughs> Oh my god, I hit my truck! Let's do this! Ah! You better come down after me. Okay. To see, like, they're going down, like, the ones where you just, like, go through, like, the whole, like, the ones I've always wanted to go on, people say it's scary shit. I mean, I care less, bro. But it's, like, the ones where, like, you stand on the thing, bro. Like, you stand, and, like, it says 3, 2, 1, go, and you just launch in. Those are the ones I'm... It's crazy, because, like, I've only been on those, like, a few times in my life. They're hella fun, man. They're fun as shit. Ah! Oh god. Why is it so fast? Is it actually that scary? Ah! I'm gonna do this for your entertainment, even though giant rides scare me. Here we go! That is going so fast. And even though I was basically just drowning the entire time down the water slide, I gotta say, this whole island was pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Make sure you use this QR code to download Stumble, guys, Is and you can it? win yeah, $10,000. Well, guys, this is this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Mr. Beast, man, coming in hot with the videos. He's always reaction content. More reaction music features him to do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.